Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Arc Survival Evolve, or should I say, part two of episode nine. Thank you guys for tuning in today, and we got some great news. We got a lot of stuff to get done today. I have, uh, I got, I got a nice little list of things for us to get done today, but the things that we need to be showing right now is, I will show you, my friends. Let me get on my griffin. Yes, we have him. Yes, we do. The super duper high level. I think he was like level two. No, he's like level 157 or something like that. But we ended up taming the tech Rex, which is, I mean, look at this guy. Like, look at him. He's a freaking monster, man. Look at him. So now we got two big bad Tex Rex or one big bad tech Rex and then another just regular Rex. But they're both big and bad, okay? They're both big and bad. Now, I will be honest. I will be honest. Look at man stats. Not the best stats, okay? I've been leveling up his health, and I've been leveling up his melee. He's got 20,000 health with 523% melee. He's level 255. And compared to Rexo over here, which is only 20 levels higher, 26,000 health with 1,128% melee damage. This guy got the good roll. I think he got, like, really good health and damage just by itself. This guy, on the other hand, he did have really good health nor damage. Um, but he looks awesome, so it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? He looks great. You know, his little five percent melee damage and twenty thousand health. You know, it's a it's a little bit on the lower side. You know what I mean? But but it's fine. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna get a lot more Rexes than this. Um, and don't forget, we still got that level one hundred and fifty and level one hundred and thirty five. All right, we still got those super duper high level alpha rexes that we need to take out. But before we do that, our plan today is we need to uh, we need to start taming. There's two tames, really three, but there's two tames that I want to focus on today. Uh, the first one being a uh, uh, is a um, I believe it's a Dodicarus. Okay, I need the Dodicarus. So we, we've been using the Ankylosaurus for a good little minute here for stone, which you know it's been working. Um, but I just know that uh, an actual no Dickerus would uh would it, would it get us a lot more stone versus using the ankylosaurus right um and that's pretty much the main reason why i wanted one of those the next one that i want is a thylacolio i've been kind of depending on my griffins a lot for dps which they're not bad right they're an air air you know dinosaur soup down kill whatnot but i think i would just have more fun riding around on a thylacolio killing everything right um, and I could obviously use the Rexes for that, but the Rexes, I want to save them for boss battles, you know, stuff like that. They're not really like your everyday type of dinosaur that you just take around traveling or whatnot. So that's why I want to get a, a Thylacolio, um, which I honestly think we should work on that first. Now, I did go ahead and uh, got myself a long neck rifle. I think we got this out of a crate. Got myself 70 tranquilizer darts as well, which should be good enough for a Dodicarus. A um... And everything and the next thing we need is just a bunch more trank arrows for the thylacolio now i'm not sure but i believe i have to go to the desert biome to get a thylacolio which is on the all the way on the opposite side of the map um and i huh not sure how we're gonna do this i need to get myself some armor um that has some form of heat resistance because that is going to be extremely important while we're there Speaking of that, I should probably look at the armor that I already have and see if I could find something that's a good match. Because currently what I do have is I got a ramshackle ghillie, which gives me, what is that? Uh, 36 resist against the cold or the hot. This guy is negative nine, so we're definitely not going to have that guy on. But I swear that I have like a, yeah, we got some, we do have some armor. Oh, we got a master graph? Yeah, we need we need to uh, we need to repair this organic polymorph. Yeah, we need to repair that as soon as possible. I didn't know we had that guy on us, and we got an apprentice version of that. We got that. We got some pretty good armor in here. We got ghillie armor here. We just need we have everything except the organic polymorph. I could have. Can you craft that? Let's see. No, huh? Poly. Okay, so how do you get organic polymorph? That is the big question of the day. How do you get organic polymorph? Okay, so the, apparently a good way of getting organic, organic polymorph is to kill the, uh, not the scorpions, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the mantises. Okay, so a good way of killing, or not killing, but getting organic polymorph is killing the mantises. And as you guys know, mantises spawn in the desert biome. So what we can do 
is we could go to the desert biome, get ourselves some organic polymorph, and we could repair our armor. Now, to repair the armor, however, we will need to... I'm just going to take this out real quick. Hopefully, this armor is, like, enough. Um, hopefully, it's enough to give us a little bit more heat resistance whenever we do craft it. We got 60 trank arrows in there. I didn't even know that. I will gladly take those. What else we got in here? Okay, I think that's... Uh, we're gonna take those out. I think that's pretty much it. But we're going to have to... Uh, let's see here. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea and I like my idea. I got an idea. So here's the plan. We take an RG with us because the RG is pretty much a walking, uh, you know, smithy. Because we're going to need the smithy to repair the organic or to repair the 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 gilly stuff right so the only thing we need to take with us really is fiber and hide that's the only thing we need to take with us you're 206 what's my highest level oh you're my highest level argentin you don't have anything on you okay okay we're just gonna just gonna yoink this off of you my good sir i'm sorry about that thank you for your time and energy though Thank you, thank you. Put that on you. So, what do we need? Fiber and hide. Take this guy with us. We have two chiropars, so we can always just put the thylacoli on one of those. Um, and then whenever we're ready to craft, we could just hop out the RG, craft it, get our armor, tame the thylacolio, and we'll be good. We'll be good. Let me get that fiber. That'll be a good fight. That'll be good. Now, what's my weight, though, while I'm on Mr. Griffin here? No. Uh, wait, where's my Griffin? Here we go. Uh, a little bit over half. 203. Now, no, 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 you know, he's, he's got, he got a lot of meat on him. Okay, we're good. And then I'll just take you. All right, we're good. So now the only thing we need to do is... Uh, drink some water, of course, so we don't, you know, drown or not drown, but, uh, you know, oh, he doesn't. Okay. So I got to take the saddle with me. Interesting. I didn't know that. Well, still, I think we're still be good. Uh, drink some water so we don't starve or, uh, you know, dehydrate to death or whatever. And then I, if, if everything checks off, I think we're good. We got to go kill some mantises. That's it. Let's go kill some mantises. So I made it to the desert, um, but we ran into an issue. One, I found the scorpions, not the scorpions, the, uh, the, what do you, what do you call those things? Okay, I, I found them. They're somewhere down there. Killed a few. Got me some more granite polymorph. So that's a massive W. I haven't made the armor yet, and I cannot find a Thyla. I cannot find, I don't know if I'm in the wrong area. I've only adventured to the right and up to here. So I think I'm gonna go left a little bit more, but everything in that direction, it just seems like water. Like, water you know what i mean so i really have no idea where a thyla is um yeah i'm just a little lost and a little scared because we came over here for a thyla and i don't want to walk away without a thyla is that a thyla that is a dire wolf and he's the pack leader uh don't know where the rest of his pack is but i want a thyla i don't want a dire wolf i want a thyla I see some hogs over there. I want the Thyla. Hmm. I gotta figure out where these Thylas are, man. Because I've got no idea. No clue. Usually, I mean, I assume they would spawn near the desert biome, right? Um, but I just can't find one. These guys are new. A Mega Therarium. Was that a 150? Oh, that's just a 50. Okay. Okay, they're just 50s. Anyways, um, haven't seen those guys before. And uh, just saw them, so... That's a good thing. Maybe there's a sign here. Maybe there's a sign that a Thyla is right around the corner of being spawned somewhere. I hope. Soon? It does look like it. On the bright side, there's a lot of Dodicaruses here. There are a lot. I wasn't expecting to see so many here. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of Dodicaruses that spawn in this area for some very nice reason. Uh, I was hiking thinking about creating another Chiropod and getting one, but I forgot the resources that I needed for a Chiropod, which also means that I don't know if I can actually make one or not. But if we can, we might as well get ourselves a level 150 and uh, be happy. 
Um, but I'm still not seeing any Thylas. There might be some over there. Can I even go over? Let's look at this map. Where's this map end? Now that's a dead end. Yes, yeah, a dead end area. And the water is just that way. So yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is more than likely go back over to that area um and look a little bit more because i was really thinking they were going to spawn in this open area but i might have been completely wrong well obviously i'm completely wrong um and there's no other place they could realistically be so i think that's what we're gonna do also i apparently i'm hot but i'm not too hot so maybe we don't even need to craft that armor there's a very real possibility we don't even need to craft it um it says that I'm hot, but like I'm not getting a heat stroke. It's not heat stroke hot. Ew. Yeah, let's get away from those guys. Um, but I need stamp. Uh, maybe right here is safe. So far, so good. I did not think the the freaking those guys would spawn here. I hate those guys. What a passion. Looks like this area was okay, though. But yeah, I was super surprised. You see Ankylosaurus is spawning here. You see Dodicarus is spawning here. I'm like, bro. What does it? You see Zebra spawning here? Like, wait, that is a Zebra, right? Yeah. In the desert. What? Everything spawns here. It's crazy. It's crystals, bro. Like, this actually is not a bad area. I might actually make a base here one day. I'm not against it. Definitely not against it. Wide open area. You got trees. Not a lot of trees, but there's trees nevertheless. Um, not a lot of rocks. It's pretty barren. Yeah, this place would suck as a base. Never mind. Maybe over there. Not in this wide open desert, though. Definitely not in a wide open desert, but maybe in like, you know, where the Rockies are. There's a lot more trees, a lot more water, a lot more rocks, and a lot more dinosaurs. It's, it's you know? I think that also means it's a lot better. You never know. Okay, so, uh, rocky area. Um, uh, I'm hoping this will be a little bit better for me. Really am. Let's see where we exactly are right now. We are, okay interesting okay um how should we go about this though let's get some more stamina first and foremost no 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 i want to go right on top of the rock okay do your thing never mind we can be second base so what is that is that a, is that a dire wolf or oh. it looks like a dire wolf yes yeah, a dire wolf yeah oh my god they have ankies look at that ankle bro to have damn near everything over here i just don't see rexes i don't see rex i haven't seen a rex it's one thing i haven't seen so if i were a thylacolio where would i be hiding where would i be hiding near the water Possibly. Because I thought that Thylacolio shared the same spawn as dire wolves. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of dire wolves and not a lot of uh, Thylas. Seen a lot of dire wolves and not a lot of Thylas. And a lot of Dodigoruses. See here. Yeah, no. Um, hmm. Yeah, no. Uh. Not even one, man. We got some Carnos. I don't know if that's a good sign, but. We got some Carnos. We got whatever the heck that is. Man. Oh! Hey, buddy! Whoa. Were you 145? Oh, you're 135. I mean, she's still kind of good. 
still kind of good still really good actually 135 that is not a bad deal you got friends do you have any friends you can't hear me why am i talking to myself do you have any i obviously don't do you have any friends you all black thylacolio surrounded by snakes that i have to kill um that i can kill that i will kill that i must kill anyways we're gonna go looking for more we know we got a 135 around these parks now can we get a 150 though can we get a juicer i'd love me a juicer some juicy juice you know what i mean is that another one or was that a dire that is a 100 you're not gonna cut it buddy i might kill you but it's nice to know you spawn here that is very nice to know this is a cool area looking around for some friends of yours before i come swooping down on your impending death swoop and 156 damage we gotta do better than that that is more like it there we go there we go i don't know why i killed you hoping that something spawns in your spot for a little higher level than you um looking around kind of i'm kind of interested to see what level those carnos are okay so we found two spawn locations which is good coyotes okay uh, can we get more up oh! oh that's what we need that's the one that my good friends is definitely the one let's go ahead and whip out the the tranks you feel me boom bada bing bada bop and let's go ahead and start shooting this man now i wonder if we should guide him somewhere safer i mean this is kind of a safe area there's nothing here but little guys right snakes over there whoops i mean where else could we take him we could take him down here wait is that the end of the map oh yeah it's the end of the map never mind um i mean that i mean and honestly might not get any safer than where he's at right now we just gotta watch out for things that's trying to kill him once he's down because nothing's gonna shoot him out right now and i'm not making a trap either whoa bugs there's bugs after me i heard bugs there is a bug after me there we go I wonder if I could just take his hits and just like land some tranquilizer arrows in him without even trying that, or I could just easily come up here and right. And I miss because I can't see him right here unless he's right below me. Wow, what in the luck? Well, that's a thing. I think we're good. That is, this feels like cheating almost. We just got to watch out when he starts to like run away from me though. If, if they do that. I wonder how many he's going to take. I should have started counting when I, uh, when I start shooting. I think this is like at least 10, right? Like roughly 10. I'm going to give or take. I'm gonna say 40. Nah, I'm gonna say 30. I'm gonna say 30. So where are we at? 13? Yeah, I'm gonna say 30. I'm betting on 30. Let me let me know what you guys bet on in the comments. I'm betting on 30. 30 of these. He's gonna be down. That's 15 right there. Holy what? I hit you? What? Okay. Oh. Okay, how does that work? I hit my own griffin right there. Oh, what? Are you down? Oh, no, he's not down. 
Wait, you're not down, right? Oh, you are. Oh, wow. So he took like roughly 20, I guess. All right. Uh, that's excitingly awesome. Now, let's go ahead and protect his surroundings by first and foremost taking out these guys because I don't know what these guys are. I don't know what you are, but you're, you're, uh, you look dangerous. So we're going to be taking you out. Uh, yeah, you're a Trudon. Trudons are dangerous. Death to all Trudons. Death to all Trudons. Come over here. You're a Trudon. You just gotta die. Sorry. I think the next thing we probably need to take out is Carnos. Because I do want to starve tame him, so that's why I'm not like. Oh, he needs stamina. Probably take out the scorpion, the carnals to my right, the dire wolf. Probably take out the, you know, I just don't want, I don't, I don't want the possibility. There's a possibility that they come over here and I don't like that possibility. The possibility shouldn't be a possibility. So we're going to, we're going to, first and foremost, we're going to make sure that possibility is no longer a possibility. Okay. That's what we're going to do. So we need to take out the carnal, take out everything. Everything needs to die, especially the bird. Look at the bird. The bird bopping. I don't like the way the bird be bopping. So we're going to take out the bird first. Bird dies first. All right, all right, all right, all right. We could just swoop in and like, just like, you know what I mean? Like, do one of these, right? Take out a few things, turn around, double take. Be happy. Everyone's happy, I'm happy. You guys happy? I'm happy. Um, Nothing's attacking here. Got a lot of levels from that for some reason. We're going to keep some of this prime because we're going to need it anyways. Oh, hey, buddy. I heard you want to fight. Where's that snake going? I don't like the way that snake is looking. Direwolf can come over here. All right. You're still alive, right? We're Oh yeah, you you're blending in with the rock. You scared me for a little bit, buddy. You scared me, buddy. You scared me, man. You scared me. Don't do that. That's a crime. What are these things, by the way? You must be under the effects of an insulating soup to tame. Wow. Armargarsaurus. They look dangerous they're fighting everything or unless everything's trying to fight them and they're just they're just defending themselves in that case they're not fighting everything they're just dying apparently according to what i just saw over here a level 140 thorny dragon level 130 bro there's a few high level things in this area i like it i'm a fan what level is this carno 20 damn as soon as i as soon as i was given compliments just take them back instantly, I guess. Just take them back instantly. Yeah, we might not even have to have to have had the uh, the Anki, man. Not the Ankylosaurus, but the Argy, the Argentavis. We're not hot in this area. Let, let's break this down. We're not hot in this area. There's a lot of cool dinosaurs, a good variety, high level. In fact, right? Trees, rocks, water. Like, why would this not be a great area for a base? Other than the fact that it's, it's super far away from everything else. Like, you get the thorny dragon. Boom. There's your wood. You got the doe digger. says you got the ankylosaurus. There's your metal. There's your stone. Like, this is not a bad area. You got your Thylacolios for your DPS. You got Carnos running around the corner. You don't have Rexes. That's one thing that I'm not seeing is Rexes, right? But you do have your, uh, your, 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 your other dinosaurs. You know, there's a few of them. There's a good few and a good, good few. A good, good few. Like, there's a good few. And, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? You got your scorpions. Pretty useless, but they're cool. For the most part. What level is this little guy? 55, 60. He looks dangerous.
Like, this area right here would not be a bad area, in my opinion. Give me something great. Give me something awesome. Give me a saddle. A Doe Dicker saddle. And a Megalosaurus. I'd love a Thylosilo. So I don't have to actually create one. Speaking of that, what do you even need for a Thylo saddle? Ugh, metal ingots, bro. Fiber hide, easy metal ingots, not so. I wanted to see if I could, like, make it and just ride my Thylo. Just have a little bit of fun before we go back home. What love are you? Okay. Ninety. I mean, how hard would it be to get 20 metal ingots? We would just have to make a forge, which means we would need metal, which we have a pickaxe. We could easily find metal. We easily got wood. And then we have the Thyla for the... I mean, not the Thyla, but the uh, the Argentine for the... Like, the, the station or whatnot. Might not be too hard. I don't know. Let's not rush into things. We can always have fun. We can just tame this dude real quick. What are we at? Unconscious halfway. What's this food level? 477. I'm kind of interested in your stats as well, buddy. So he's got 4,340 health with 210% melee damage. I actually don't know if that's good. He's got 5,000 food, 600 oxygen, 1,300 stamina. Hmm. I honestly might even attempt to tame some other dinosaurs. Like a level 135 might not be bad. Just to see what gets a variety going. We wouldn't be able to take them all home, though. Which honestly might not be a problem. I wouldn't mind having a base here, so not taking all of them home might not be a bad thing. We keep some here for when we come back and make a base, you know? Keep some here. Man, that bleed attack is no joke. Damn. I just want to kill a few off. See if I can give me another level 150 to spawn. Because if I do, man. If I do, I'm definitely knocking him out too. It's a no-brainer. 100% chance we're knocking him out. Likewise, we could also take a Ganner at that level 135. That I forgot where he was. Um, whoa. Ew. go just cleaning up the neighborhood getting some levels while i'm at it why not it's all in a good works you know all in a good man's plan i have no idea what a level 135 is and i gotta keep an eye on this man's torque they come conscious really fast apparently i've learned that any more of you guys though I swear he was up. Yeah, here. He, this is the one near snakes. Okay. I kind of want to try him out, to be honest. Maybe I should. Because I, I don't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey. I didn't even know there was water in these jars. That's beautiful. Anyways, I don't want to go down there and start attacking the snakes and also hit the Thyla. So I think when I'm. Well, I could. Because the Thyla runs faster than the snakes. Maybe I could just, like, grab the attention of the Thyla. And then just, like, take him away from the snakes. Or not. Hello? It's 
harder than I thought it would be. Briefly harder than I thought it would be. Finally, because there's a bird. Don't. Uh. Oh! That was close. Come here, man! I have to be on the ground with you, don't I? Okay, this is a great spot for you. Yes, I'm loving this spot. I'm loving this spot for you. Let's see if he's right here. Nah, there's no chance he's right there. No. He's still, like, behind me. Can't shoot behind me, though. This is risky because he can shoot me. I mean, hit me, but... I just want to see if I can knock him out before I die. Oh, he stopped. How convenient, actually. Wow. And he's bloody. I feel like he's about to die. Oh, well. We're still going to shoot you up, bro. Take turns. Take a little bit more time. We're going to tame both of these guys, but I guess whoever has the most health and damage ratio between the two will we'll take home with us. I think that's what we're doing. See, if we can also find another level 150 or 135 plus. It's got to be 135 plus. We got super duper lucky early. We found that level 150 and it's level 135, in fact. Come on, my friend. I know you're almost down. I'm surprised they don't run away when they're, like, about to be, uh, knocked out. They just, like... Yeah, they kind of just stay there. Surprisingly. All right, we got him down. Now, there was... I, I saw one off the corner of my eye here. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Whoa. Wrong button. Wrong button. That could have been deadly. I think there's nothing here to kill me, though. Except the dire was yet. That would have been deadly. That would have been way deadly. Okay, what level are you? 20. Oh my god. You've got to die. You've got to die a painless death. Death from above. There we go. Nice. Quick little glance. See if we can find one. Think not. I lied. Okay, we're not getting lucky. Not getting lucky. Hey, bird. Or butterfly or whatever you are. Oh, what you looking at? Why are you looking at my boy like that, bro? I don't like that, bro. I don't like that. What are you, a scout? Huh? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Gotta keep him safe. All right. What's your stats, buddy? 37, 80, and 185. Yeah, the level 150 is definitely better. As far as stats go. Which, you know, is kind of expected. But, you know. I don't know. You know. Is that another one? Is that a thorny dragon? No, it was a thorny dragon. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and tame dude real quick. Since he's about to wake up anyways. I think I waited long enough to starve tame him. Oh, hello? Do we not have any prime? Okay. I don't think we have any prime. Which is fine. We got enough time to get some prime. Who do we get it from? I wish I had a Carno next to me right now. Um, 
I don't know if those big dinosaurs down there drop prime, but I guess we got to find out. Might, do thorny dragons drop prime? Nope. All right. Whoops. Are you glowing? Okay, that's weird. Kind of scary, but he drops prime. I don't know why he was glowing like that. Weird, but hey, I got my prime. That's all that matters to me, I guess. I got my prime. It's an interesting dinosaur. Kind of want to know why it was glowing like that now. <laughs> we go eat up buddy wow you tame slow okay well he eats he doesn't eat that much though his food doesn't go up like crazy so uh he, he still eats slow though damn what, what do we need i think he eats every 50 that it seems like so like two more and i think he's good Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, we tamed him. Oh my gosh. That could have been the worst. That could have been the worst. Because I would have had to hit him. I would have hit the snake. But I would have also hit the Thyla. And the Thyla would have gotten less levels. So he went from 150 to 223. Which is pretty nice. Also leveled up three times because of that. So he, he got 349 melee at the end of the day. Um... Not bad, I don't think, right? I don't know good Thyla stats, though, I'll be honest. I do want him to get, like, 10,000 health. I think 10,000 health will be a good zone for me. All right, where's the other Thyla at? Okay. Not bad, though. 223, aka 226. What's your speed, buddy? Not bad. No, I don't... Uh, I don't know how good these guys do in battle, so I'm a little bit skeptic on like having this dude follow me. Maybe I should just, maybe I should just go ahead and cryopod. I don't want him to die. But I also want him to level, so. Maybe he'll be fine, because everything's trying to kill him anyways. Man, should I tame a terror bird? Them guys run. They run. Fast. They attack fast, too. They don't do that much damage. Only 38 damage, unless this one is just a low level. Um, I would like for you guys to fight each other. But it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. There we go. That was a level 150. Wow, okay. For a level 150, uh, 30 damage is not that high. Can you fight my enemies? Thank you, I appreciate it. Almost 10k health. Probably give him the 500 melee as well. 632 weight isn't that bad though, considering. Got to keep an eye on that one. I still want to tame him though. See what he, we'll see, uh, see what damage he gets. Because he started off at... I want to say his health didn't change. I think his health didn't change. Only his damage went up and other stats that I didn't pay attention to. But mainly his damage. You are still poisoned. Wow, thorny dragons really do poison you a lot. Use the craft desert clothes and tent. A portable tent where you can take cover in a hostile environment? What? Hold up.
Because that sounds interesting. Can I? It gives me stone and salt. Wow. Can I just make this now? I guess I can. It's a portable tent where you can take cover. Okay. Open. Oh. Oh. Increase insulation stats. Oh. Wow. Uh, 600 and 434. 89 armor. So it doesn't increase my armor any, right? Yeah. It just increases these numbers, which is not bad at all. Like 5k? Wow. I can just pick it up. Wow. And it turns like the sound off and everything. Can I get like... I wonder if I can like put like a... Put like a um... Like a campfire in here. Maybe a bed. Because this is dope. I like this. This is really cool. I never knew this existed. How much does it weigh? 24 weight isn't that bad. I like it. Picasso. Picasso. I like you. You're lit. You're lit. All right. I think, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick you up, my good friend. Because why not? Pretty sure you're still going to just have better stats than the other guy. <laughs> Man, these things weigh a lot. Wow. 20 each is nutty. I think we'll be fine for going back home, but still kind of nutty. I spotted another one. And it'll be fine. Right next to the snakes is wild. Hello, 135. Not bad. Man, I would tame you right now if I if I didn't have my Argentavis on me, man. I'd tame you. Unless I just drop my Argentavis and tell my Argentavis to, to like follow my Griffin on the way home. My Argentavis wouldn't be fast enough to keep up though. And I would not want to just go slow. Unless we craft. What, what do you, let's, let's look. We need to craft a cryopod. Crystal fiber, metal, oil, ugh, polymorph. The oil is easy. Everything here is easy. Except the metal, because I have to make the forge to make the metal. And then the polymorph, I think I could just craft that easily. But it's okay. I mean, we literally live in a spot that spawns a guy, so... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Should I feed him now? 3,700 out of 4,000. He's got 250 hunger down, which means he's going to eat like five times. So I don't think I should. I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit. Get this guy's uh, get this guy's hunger down some more. And I'll see you guys once it's like, you know, down, down, down. Hey, hey. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. All right. He's currently taming in one more. And he's not hungry anymore. Almost. <laughs> almost. Almost there. Almost. And he, he'll be tamed. He'll be tamed. And then we can see what stats he has. And then we could be sad because the stats aren't going to be as good as the level 150s. Yay! Come on. Oh, so close. So freaking close. His torpedo got mad low, though. Look at that. <laughs> the thing got mad low. Here we go. And he's up. All right. Let's see what we're looking at here. Wow. 315% melee damage with 4,620 health versus uh, this guy with... Uh, oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. My Thylo has 349. I thought he had 215. Okay. Well, yeah. Three, uh, you know, 349 is definitely better than 315. 
I could have sworn this was like 215 for some very weird reason. I don't know why I thought that. Huh, weird. Okay, well, I mean, in that case, uh, I guess we're good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess we're good. We're going to leave this guy here. Uh, do not follow me, actually. And don't die. We're going to leave you there to become one with the universe, my friend. To become one with that is your mission while you are alone in these wilderness. To become one with the wilderness. And my griffin is heavy. All right. Boom. That should do it. Let's go ahead and head back home um, because we got more taming to do. I'm happy with the thyla we got level 150. I think that is amazing. And yeah, I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead and head back home. So we went ahead and went home, um, threw out the thyla because he is an absolute beast. Let's get some more health on my mans, obviously. Um, now we need to make the saddle for him, which I think we might already have the materials to do so in here, which we don't. We need fiber. Uh, oh, that's easy. All right, boom, there we go. We got the materials. Put all that in there along with the that. Um, we should also probably repair this armor. Because why not? It's on our to-do list anyways, you know. Why not? Why not? Why not? While that's going into cooking in there, let's drop off the saddles and all of this stuff that we don't need. Alrighty, armor. Check. Thyla. Looking good, as always. Got me new hat, don't I? Yep, got me new hat. Alright, my boy! Welcome home. Here's your saddle. Oh, wait, wait. Here's your saddle. I hope you like it. Looks good on you, buddy. Come on, let's go. Hey! Let's go. I'm loving you already. Now we gotta go wreak some havoc. We gotta go kill things while also looking for a Dodicarus. I'm eating you for no reason. Do not be alarmed. I am quite literally devouring you for absolutely no reason. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just pounced on dude and killed him. That's crazy. Man, look at the stamina on this guy. Oh, oh this is the best part. The, oh, the, wall, the wall climb. The wall climb is beautiful. I'm here to save you versus... Oh, look, look at you. Big cat versus small cat. Big cat will always win. What level are you? Yeah, you, you deserve to die. I'm not afraid of no Arjun Savers either. Better back down. Five levels. Woo! What level are you? 85. Honestly, a level 85 wouldn't be bad, but I just want to kill stuff. You're just a bystander, bro. I don't know how that worked out for you. 10,000 health. Let's get that damage up. Pipe it up. Maybe we can run into a Rex. That'd be interesting. And this guy looks mysterious, bro. I should actually name him. What would his name be, though? It's got to be something mysterious. Should we just tame, like, a Dodicarus? Just to tame a Dodicarus? Preferably, I would like a high-level Dodicarus, but if we... Like, we don't need a high-level Dodicarus, right? What level are you? 20? Oh. Hello. 
So they're both level 20. That's what that's what I'm getting from this situation. They're both level 20. Don't run from me now. Don't run from me! Seven levels, wow. I actually didn't mean to bite you. We can fight though. I wonder if I should go for uh, 20k health. Kind of contemplating it right now. Forty-eight. Maybe we should go for a. Uh, it could be worth it going for twenty thousand health. I'm having a lot of fun on this guy. Yeah, it could be worth it going for twenty k. We'll see. Hello. Fifteen. Uh, I'm gonna kill you because I already know where level twenty is. It's no point in keeping you alive when there's a level twenty right around the corner. I don't want to go too far, though. I know that there's Rexes pretty much all around me right now. There's Rexes that way, and if I'm not mistaken, there's Rexes up here. Now, if it's a low-level Rex, we might have a fight. I don't think the Alpha Rex is this way, though. Well, that was that Karno. Oh, level 150 Karno. Oh, interesting. We got level 150 Carno, level 20 Carno. I wonder if it's worth taming that level 50, uh, 150 Carno. 135 Sabertooth. My boy does have 4k health. Maybe we wait on that. Yeah, we might wait on that one. Put that one on the back burner, probably. don't take fall damage either I don't think they do oh wait, never mind I take the bad they do they just don't take a lot of fall damage but they take some all right I've killed a few I'd like to know if more have spawned in now. Oh. Z, are you new or are you to level 20? Okay. So, I guess our starting ground is level 20. We need to find something higher than level 20. Anything lower than level 20 is, a, is dead. Pretty much. I wonder if Ankylosauruses and Dodicruses share spawns. And should I start killing the Ankies? In order to get more Dodicrus spawns? Don't know. Whoa. 55, 20? Highest level is 55, though. I wonder why the other Argentines aren't, uh, I mean, why the other, why the other ones aren't fighting the Argentines. Should I join that fight? Oh, they killed him. It's two versus one. Level 20 and level 55, though. Not very high. Not very high levels. My boy's sitting at 5,000 health. I think we do it. No way they do 5,000 damage to me together. 
No way, right? It's impossible. Hello? Uh. Okay, never mind. I was ready to fight. It's ready, man. I was ready. Now fight today, I guess. And I don't want to fight Argentines. Sorry, Argentines. Not down for a fight. Too busy looking for Dodicaruses. Whom of which I can't find for some reason. Still trying to figure out why those Aliosaurus just disappeared out of nowhere. That's weird. Oh well. Kind of hoping more spawn. I, I don't think I've ever seen them spawn on this island. Have I? Yes, I have. Just not in this area. I've never seen them spawn in this area, but I've definitely seen them spawn on this island. Kind of with the saber tooth spawns too. There's a lot of saber tooths. Unexpected saber tooths though. I think we killed them, man. I think we have to. I want to say they share spawns for some reason. He was about to die anyways, okay? He was about to take his last breath anyways. We just kind of... We just kind of helped him out. You know, helping hand. That's all. That's all that was, a helping hand. Still the same level 20. I honestly might just tame that level 20. I wonder if these guys are any good. Oh, these are the guys that you do knockback. If you attack them, they do like half the damage you do to them. I think they do back to you. Oh, hey. 55. That's a step in the right direction. 1300. You almost got Rex stats, bro. Like a Rex on wheels. 5,500 is definitely a step in the right, right direction. Keep looking just briefly, though. I think we're going to settle for that 55. I think we settle for the 55, honestly. And I don't even have to tame him right here. I can just take him back to the base with me because I have my uh, got my Argy with me. Just lay him in a trap. But guess what? I don't have the Argentine saddle, so this was a failed plan. Very, very failed plan. Um, okay, get back in here. I'm gonna just tame him right here since I could just pretty much kill him right here anyways. And not kill him, but uh, kill anything that tries to kill him right here anyways. All right. And he's kind of alone anyways. Um, all right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Keep looking at my surroundings just in case. Oh, there he goes. No, no, never mind. I thought he was running from me. Let's uh let's go over here. Have him follow us up here.
Game froze? Hello? There we go, there we go. Now you're running. Come on, little man. There we go. And he's out. Yo, 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 yo. Why did you have to do that? You're a menace to society. Well, I mean... You can have him. It's not like he was a max level. To be fair, it wasn't like, it wasn't like he was a max level or anything like that, to be fair. All right, we got a Dodicris. Not yet, but soon. Um, Maybe I should just go ahead and... Not pick up the wood. I'm trying to collect berries. Maybe I should just go ahead and put the berries inside of his inventory at this point. He's he's only level 55. Star taming him isn't really that important. You know. That should be enough. Go. And I'm just going to put the rest of this on you. I wonder if I... I honestly wonder if I should tame that level 150 um, Carno. I mean... Granted, it's a Carno. But also, granted, it is level 150. I think we should. I honestly, truly think we might... Tame that Carno. level 150 uh, that's the only reason why i'm even consider taming it is because of its level but i also know it's gonna do like a decent amount of damage to me it shouldn't kill me though and i'm also a little bit worried about the level 20 carnal next one because i just want him to die i don't really care about him but i don't want to attack the level 150 carnal right next to him as well so decisions decisions There's no way he takes 7,000 health from me, right? There's no way. 2,000, maybe. 3,000, maybe. 7,000? No. There's just no way. It's not happening. It's not happening. Let's go for it. I'm just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. I got my tranks on me, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's just go for it. No way he does 6,000 damage to me, bro. I refuse to believe it. We're just going to go for it. I'll take it anyways whoa oh my weight on my thylid skyrocketed when i got on i thought it was because of the metal uh hatchet but apparently it was just me i'm just heavy i'm just heavy Oh, man. All right. Let's see what we got here. 150, 20, 35. 25 alpha. This is a little scary. I don't think we'll be able to outrun an Alpha Rex on our Thyla. But if I could shoot the Carno from here and just have him follow me, I think that'll work. Okay, he's the middle one. All right. Uh, this is gonna be hard. Maybe I shoot the... Maybe I shoot those two just to kill them. I don't know where it's dropping. I 
Oh, that didn't work. Um, can I get up there? Excuse me? Alright, which one are you? You're the 150. Oh, this works out perfectly. Come on. And F word, they're both after me. Am I faster than you? Okay, yeah, I'm faster than you. I think one of them stopped running. Which is perfect, because this is the one we want. 37? That's it? Or 64? It's not bad. Definitely taming, dude. Thought something else was hitting me for a second. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. There we go. You can't run back to your boys. It's not happening. You're mine now. You you belong to me. You heavy stomping whore, okay? You belong to me. You okay, Tyler? I know you're okay. You know why I know you're okay? Because you are awesome. I keep it there, Tyler. All right. Level 150, Cardo. Check. Level 150, Tyler. Check. Level wannabe 150, uh, Dedegasaurus. Check. Now, where are you? You should have been tamed by now. Unless you died. Uh oh. Oh, wait. Never mind. You didn't die. You said taming successful. And I thought I left you. Where did I leave you? Hey! There you are. Hey, buddy. Just so you don't die, I'm going to put you inside of this chiropod. And then me and Carno are going to take a nice stroll back home and killing everything. But I do want to starve tame him, so we're going to wait a little bit for that to happen. Alrighty, and I'll see you guys back when it happens. Alright guys, we're back and um, I have some very good news. Two, two things, two things, okay? First thing is, while I was taming the level 150 Carno, I found a level 145 Carno. And that's pretty much the guy that we're feeding right now. I went around and started leveling them up. One is uh, 223 and the other one is 233. Now, that's the first good news. Instead of getting one, we got two. One's 145, one's 150. Well, they're not those levels anymore, but you get the gist. I've just been leveling up health on both of them. So this one's at 60, uh, 7,600 health. This was at 4,500 health. Uh, I was hoping to get 10K health on both and then I'm just going to start leveling up their melee damage. Um, and then, you know, we'll see where we go after that. Thyla, almost at 15K. That's my goal for him. Uh, just give him to 15,000 health and then just melee damage to everything else. Now, the second good news that I have for you guys is that I found us a nice little... Oh. Alpha Raptor. Oh, no, 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 no. I have a plan. It involves that Alpha Raptor. But not that specific Alpha Raptor. There's another Alpha Raptor on down here. Oh, I think they got into a fight. On down that way, there's another Alpha Raptor. Um, and he is level, I want to say like 14 or something like that. So I just want to test out the waters a little bit and test out what exactly the Thyla can do along with the Carnos. Um, and uh, I kind of want to kill that Tech Raptor. Wow, that was a really, that was a really big 
like high level group of raptors. There's like three 140 pluses in there. That's crazy. All right. Anyways, um, before I was so rudely interrupted, as always, rudely interrupt. Let's go ahead and drop the majority of this so I can actually start running in 1500. One more, one more level. We're at 1500. But anyways. There is a Alpha Raptor on down this way. I want to say it's level no more than level 20. Um, and I just want to see if they're going to die. And if they're not going to die, how fast can they kill it? And then that'll give me like a nice good range on if I could take on anything higher than that current level, right? Because there's a big difference between a level 15 Alpha Raptor and a level 90 Alpha Raptor. You know what I mean? Um, huge difference. A huge, huge, huge difference. And if I'm not, yeah, he's on down this way. But yeah, there's an Alpha Raptor that way. Um, there's actually three Alpha Raptors. The one that just spawned over there. Um, there's one all the way, not really all the way, but more along down that way. But the one that I'm fighting is going to be on in this direction. Um, hopefully, he's still here. I wish the Carnos had a little bit more speed on them. It seems like they can keep up for the most part. Except when they get stuck like that one. Come on. Nah, we gotta go save him. I Maybe mean, I should just like destroy the rocks in this area realistically. Come on. There we go. But yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to kill him. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to outrun him on my Thyla just in case both my Carnals die. Um, but the Thyla can climb and the Raptor can't, so we're gonna be trying to use that as our escape route if necessary. Might not be necessary, but if it is necessary, we're going to be using that. Um, none of my dinosaurs are at full health. Uh, this was at 11,000, so, but I, I'm feeling a little bit confident. Even if my Carnos do die, I still got my Thyla, which I'm happy about on Thyla. I could care less about the Carnos. They're nice and everything, but I could still kind of just care less about them. You're not the Raptor. Where is the Raptor? Whoa. Oh, 20. Um, I don't see the raptor. Oh, there he is. Interesting. But at the same time, uh, level 135 Rex. Kind of want the alpha raptor just on its own. Maybe this is a good time to get it on its own too. So he does 33 damage to us. We might regret this, potentially. Because I think those... Oh, wow. Oh, that wasn't the right... Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Alpha Raptor's down. Alpha Raptor's down. Rexus, Rexus, Rexus. Go, 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 go. We can take these Rexes down for sure. Even though it's a level 135, we can find them. We can, we can, we can keep finding Rexes. We can keep finding Rexes. Level 135 is a... Is a eh. I kind of want to keep them, but it's okay. Come on, Nick. Come on, guys. We got this. We got this a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. You guys aren't bleeding yet, are you? Nope. You guys aren't bleeding yet. Neither is he. Oh, there he is. He's feeling it. Oh, yes. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. I wasn't expecting that to go so successfully. I wonder who actually killed the alpha. I don't think it was my Thyla. I could have just I could have just assumed you were coming for me. I don't think it was my Thyla that killed him. Was it you? No. Then it was you. Yep. All the way in health. Everything in health. Wow. I was actually a little bit surprised. We didn't really take that much damage either. Oh, I kind of want to go for the other alphas. I will. When, whenever these guys get back max health, I'm, I'm going to go for the alphas. I just don't want to go for them now while they're on low health. And I also don't want to go get them on high health because I'm, I'm being lazy right now. Um, but whenever these guys get to high health, I should definitely go for that higher level Raptor for sure. It's a no brainer. If I wasn't mistaken, I thought there was an alpha Rex over here. Yes, there is. Let's turn back around. Yeah, let's turn back around. All right. That was awesome. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and head back home now, though. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, thank you guys for watching. As always, I do appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great time. And I'll see you guys next episode.
You guys have a good one. Peace.